Hey everyone, it's Steel from the Farms. I'm just doing a quick video on my bike. Um, this bike here is my my drag bike. Um, I'm using a super cycle bike I got for free. Uh, reason why I went with this bike uh, when I saw it is just it was a free bike. I could go off someone for free. I didn't pay anything for it. Um, took everything off pretty much. Put my 16 inch golden motor on. Uh, it's got air cooling on the inner side on this side and the other side on the other side. Um, phase wires are probably about two or three inches and the relays are there as well. There we go. So you can see them there. Um, I use the factory phase wire from the motor to here and these are all 12 10 gauge wires right to the relays and then again 10 gauge from the relay all the way to the 18 MOSFET methods controller um, I'm using Turnigy packs RC LiPo packs 10 amp hour 20C so that means uh, they're rated for 10 amp hours continuous sorry 10 amp hours <laughs> 100 amps continuous, 150 peak, and that's for one 5 amp hour pack. So I'm running two of them in parallel, so it's uh, 10 amp hours, meaning that I can discharge 300 amps peak, 200 amps continuous, no problem. And the packs only weigh about 14 pounds. Um, what else can I show you guys? This controller here, I think it, it pumps at around 150, uh, 160 amps, I've seen it do in Star Delta mode. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so I'll just do a little demonstration of the speed. Uh, it tops out at about 140, 150. One thing I'll show you guys is the nice, neat chain setup I got. Kind of like BMX style. No gear shifters, just chain. So I put it in the second gear, I guess. I don't know. And there's a single speed in the back. And it felt real nice. Like, I, I mean, you got, because the batteries are back here. And they're fitting on top of the tire. It doesn't get in your way when you pedal, so it's just like a normal regular bike. And yeah, I'll sh just show you. Let's take a look. This is full power, and I'll show you the govern speeds. But it's even fast with Star Delta. So this is gov uh, this is full full throttle. This is speed level 2 on Methods controller. Um, so I, I haven't touched the settings in the AT MOSFET controller, it's just factory settings. But I just enabled the options. So this is mode 2. Again, the controller's never been programmed. Again, I'll do star delta, which you guys will hear. Just so you know, star mode in mode 2 did 67 kilometers an hour for me and about 128 in delta mode. And I kicked the relay too fast, if you notice there, I could have damaged the controller, but I don't think I did, so. Okay, and this is the lowest uh, speed that I can do with the factory setting. Again, star mode <coughs> and then delta.
That did 54 kilometers an hour star mode, 106 in delta. I'm gonna do the first option again, just cause I didn't, I didn't tell you guys. Just give me one second. Okay, 85 kilometers an hour star mode, 155 kilometers in delta. And that was full power. And that's pretty much it, that's my drag bike. Um, just don't want to kind of do a little conclusion, I mean, I've done, I worked on bikes for about I would say about, it's about three years now I've been doing e-bikes and out of all the bikes I've done, I'm going to say like, you know, as everyone knows, there's always imperfections in e-bikes, but this one here, I mean, I mean, besides like the bike itself, mechanic wise, I mean, it functions perfectly. Controller, bulletproof, the batteries, weight is, is very light, um, high discharge, um, the the relays, surprisingly, I made my own relay, and I never had a problem with it. They're just 10 or 12 amp AC relays, two in parallel. So I don't know. I, I'm pretty much. I'm pretty sure I'm pulling a lot more than I should be pulling out of them. But again, I've done start delta at least a dozen times. No problems at all. Doesn't get hot or anything. Um, again, uh, with motor cooling. I mean, this was something that I came up earlier this year. As you guys see my X5 air cooling thread, I mean, and uh, I'm happy that a lot of people are actually doing the air cooling to the motor. Um, it's a, a good feature, lets the motor run more efficient, and uh, it lets you pull more out of it. Okay, so, yeah, pretty much I'm happy with everything. I'm, I think I've pretty much uh, maxed out my uh, ideas on e-bikes, so looking to move on to electric car next, but that's pretty much everything. Thanks.